Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to the channel. In this week's episode of the Pokemon Go News, we have one article to share. Because next week's episode, I'm going to save. I was going to do it this week, but I decided to wait. Because this video is going to be really cool next week. So, if you're interested in that, be sure to keep your eye out for the channel. It's going to be awesome. I cannot wait to share it with you guys. But, for this week, we're going to talk about the Whimsical Adventure, which is the Twinkling Fantasy event. This just began yesterday, which is uh, January 10th. And it goes until the 16th, so let's look at the details. The thumbnail, or like their little promo image, has Mega Salamence, which is one of the best dragon types in the game. It's super cool, and the shiny's really nice, so I'm really excited for that. Zekrom is back, but before I give away too much, let's read the article. So it says, Trainers, you can surround yourself in a circle of fairy-type Dedenne, battle with the dragon-type Pokemon Mega Salamence, and more during the upcoming Twinkling Fantasy event. What fantastic tales will you create with this trove of dragon and fairy type Pokemon? So the event Twinkle Fantasy, like I said, began January 10th, which was at 8 a.m. And this goes until Monday, January 16th at 10 p.m. local time. Mega Salmons makes its debut. It will be available in Mega Raids. It can be taken down with, I believe it's two people is the minimum, but you could probably solo it if you have a bunch of like good shadow type uh, Pokemon, like maybe Shadow Mamoswine, and I don't think Shadow Glaceon's in the game. But maybe Shadow Mewtwo with Ice Beam, those kind of Pokemon if you really try hard and you can probably solo it. But I'd recommend probably going with a group of like three to four to be safe. Can be shiny in the bonus encounter as well with the Salamence, so it's pretty rare. So let me know in the comments below if you guys get one of those. Personally, I've done a bunch of Mega Raids, never got the shiny. So I'd really be curious to see what you guys got. The event bonuses are really amazing. So it's double XP for successfully catching Pokemon with nice, great, or excellent throws. Additional candy for successful Pokemon catches with nice, great, and excellent throws. And for the trainers level 31 and up, you get an increased chance of the XL candies with nice, great, and excellent throws. Dragon type and fairy type Pokemon are super useful in the game, and their candy is hard to find. So I highly recommend aiming for those great throws and even those excellents if you can, because that candy will come in amazing, especially with some of these encounters. Clefairy, Clefable, Jigglypuff, Dratini... Togetic, Meryl, Ralts, Vibrava, Bagon, Dino, and Dedenne, as well as Gumi and Noibat will be appearing. So if you don't know, Noibat evolves with a 400 candy evolution. It's kind of like the Gyarados and the Swablu. It's very rare candy to get, so if you see those, make sure you pineapple them or like silver pineapple them. Aim for that great throw or the excellent throw if you can and get all that candy because it will come in clutch later. As well as some of these evolve forms like Togetic and Vibrava, they will be really useful if you get that extra candy because they are Evolve Forms, so they already give bonus candy. But if you hit a nice, great, or excellent throw, you'll get even more. So especially in the Togetics, if you see those, definitely aim for those because Togekiss is a really good fairy type. Say cheese. So if you do some snapshots during the event, you'll get a dragon or fairy type Pokemon encounter. I did one yesterday and I got a Jigglypuff, but it can be random as well. I've seen people get like Dratini or even Dino from there, so that's pretty cool. The collection challenge is super easy. You just got to catch the boosted Pokemon that are appearing. I'll probably put a graphic on screen if I can find it online. So if you got to catch those 10, and that's about it. You'll get 50 Salmon's Mega Energy, a Charge TM, and a Fast TM. Field Research Task Encounters. So you can get Clefairy, Dratini, Bagon, Dedenne, and Gumi from Encounters. I actually forgot to mention, I'm realizing this too late. Dedenne is available shiny. I actually did notice this on my first read-through when it first came out. The shiny is really beautiful. It's got that brown body. It's really, really obvious. So hopefully you guys get that. Forgot to mention it. It is in the wild. It's not super rare. And the challenge for it probably isn't too hard either. Because it's not like a super uber rare Pokemon. So if you want that shiny, I'll have a chance to get it. The one star raids are looking really nice too. We got Jigglypuff, Meryl Axu, which is really nice. And Dino, they can all be shiny. The three star raids are Mawile, Dredigon, and Dedene. They can all be shiny as well. Five star raids are Zekrom, which can be shiny, and the mega raids are Mega Salamence, which can also be shiny. The featured attack for Zekrom, it gets Fusion Bolt, and this is a really good move for PvE. I'm not super sure about trainer battles, because I don't really do PvP too much, but I'm guessing it's alright. If not, it might be better to use Wild Charge, but I'm really not too sure. So I'd probably just catch a bunch of Fusion Bolt ones just to be safe. And that's about it for this event. This event is honestly really one of the best ones we've had in a long time because fairy type Pokemon like never get events in community days and the dragon type metal as well as the fairy type one are like two of the hardest ones to complete. They were like the last two I needed. So if you need those medals completed as well for the platinum or gold, 
now's a chance to finish those up. So thank you guys for tuning in this week. Next week's episode is going to be awesome. I have a really cool thumbnail bait. I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So be sure to sub on the channel. I will be back on Friday with another Pokemon News episode 2. So once again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out the socials in the description. And I will see you guys back here again on Friday.